Hi, I'm the Michael Myers fanatic, and I'm back. I thought I would do a response to what Malik's. This is the one thing I want to say. Malik Akkad says that he can't talk about it right now. When they asked him about Halloween 3D. When the fuck can we talk about it? When can we talk about it? We've been waiting since 2009. And it says, Malik Akkad, the son of Mustafa Akkad, an overseer of all things related to Michael Myers in the Halloween series. You forgot one title, and the kisser of Rob Zombie and Scout Compton's ass. You forgot that title, because that's what this is all about. Shout out to Justin Bean. What's up, Justin? You're not used to a real fan like me. You're used to everybody kissing up. I don't kiss up. I kiss people on the cheek, not on their ass. Sorry. In the words of Tupac, I know you're not used to a real thug like me. It's okay. We can't talk about that right now. When can we talk about it? It's 2014. What's the big secret? Then he's saying that he wants to make like a Friday night horror film or some stupid crap like that that he knows the fans will like let me look up his exact words he said that he wants to bring it back to the classic Friday night horror film that people will really like Here's what I think happened. But everybody hated Resurrection. So he didn't want to make part 9 because he was afraid. So what did he do? He went to Rob Zombie, paid him a buttload of money, kissed his ass a little bit, got him to make Halloween 2007. I guess it did all right. Nobody wanted to make Halloween 2, so he went back to Rob Zombie even though Rob Zombie says he's the one that came back now he's making part three because again he's afraid that nobody will like Halloween 9 and he's catering to the newer generation of fans because they like blood tits and ass and he knows that whereas my generation liked good storytelling suspense things like that I'm just being real with you Justin I know you're not used to this so take it in slowly I'm a passionate fan I really do care about the franchise I don't just go to conventions and stuff to promote myself I know certain people do that I'm not gonna say any names certain people go just to boost their career I don't use Halloween to boost my YouTube career. Do I like getting views? Yes, I do. The Michael Myers fanatic loves getting views. But I talk about Halloween because I care about Halloween. I rant about Halloween because I care about Halloween. I'm the real Halloween fan. I'm the real McCoy. I don't want to see blood, tits, and ass, but that's what Malik wants because he knows that'll bring in the cash because you got a bunch of emo kids that's into that whole rock and roll type shit and that's just real why you think he had the film where Rob Zombie put the pentagram in the middle of the wall with the three sixes because kids are into stupid shit like that nobody was doing that back in the 90s but now everything goes watch I'm telling you Justin Watch, he's going to go back to Scout Taylor Compton. He's going to find a way for her to come back, like I told you before. He's going to kiss her ass. And don't worry, Justin, don't worry. He's going to clean all that up. He's going to find a way to clean all that up about her dying. I told you before, he's just going to say that she was dreaming. And then she's going to wake up in the hospital, start screaming and all that stupid shit. Then they're going to give her a bunch of drugs to calm her down. And she's going to go back to Haddonfield thinking that everything's all right. Michael Myers is going to come meet her new friends and kill them and try to kill her again.
then he's gonna live and guess what Halloween 4 it's just more of the same old shit I don't have a problem with Scout Compton as a person now I know that you work for them or you used to work for them so there are things that you can't say but I can say them because I don't work for them they're not my friends Malik is not my friend I sent him a friend request and he didn't want to accept it like I said I kiss people on their cheek not on their ass sorry if I offended you or if I offended Malik or if I offended Tamara I can't be somebody I'm not this is another cash cow like that Halloween box set Malik you know exactly what you're doing you're catering to the younger generation all that rock and roll emo trash get that out of my face yeah dude party dude rock on I can hear those kids now this movie's fucking awesome we didn't have stuff like that when I was growing up Justin we had the real Halloween movies the curse of Michael Myers H2O resurrection we didn't have all that rock on throwing up the devil horns all that stupid crap and he's catering to that that's my response to his update he just gonna give us more of the same I approve this message even if you don't